Why is the warrior still dead? I do not understand. It's confusing me and I am not healing myself properly. Okay, well, it's definitely, definitely something to get used to that I need to like keep recycling my cooldowns between groups and pulls and whatnot. And I'm going to get disoriented. That's unfortunate. DK also got disoriented. So I don't feel alone in my disorientation. Demon hunter was, or not the demon hunter, but the, just a regular hunter, not the demon hunter. He just hunts normal things, not demons. <laughs> Okay. Hi, hello, and welcome. I am definitely not Vlad, and you're watching me pug my way to 2.8k rating on a Mystery Room Monk in Dragonflight Season 3. I've actually not done anything since you last saw me play, because I'm still sitting in Valshara, so I'm going to log in, Hearthstone back to Valdraken, take a look at the vault, and uh, get cracking. This tragedy of a run happened. Now I don't even have a key. I really hope I don't get another Atal Dazar. Actually, it's it's fortified, right? So it shouldn't be that bad. If anything, in Atal Dazar, I'm more worried about the guards now, and maybe if we pull the middle group, like in the middle of the dungeon, the two big trikes and whatnot but yeah we'll see how that goes let's take a look at what we got in the vault generating loot for mist weaver give me something good baby come on okay we got a champion thingy thing okay i don't think i'm gonna be taking any champion pieces the back piece is crit mastery that's not horrible but i think i have some other kind of back piece here which is haste versatility which i should probably use but it's the same item level as this which has leech so i'm keeping that we have champion shoulders don't need those we have a myth belt okay we have a crafted belt, so that's not being replaced. We have myth shoulders up from champion shoulders. This is a helmet. It's not a shoulder. What am I talking about? <laughs> and we have myth gloves instead of hero gloves. I'm thinking, I mean, this is only four item levels up. So it looks like there's a substantial overlap between champion, hero, and myth. I would lose the leech, but I would have a myth tier helmet or a myth upgrade track helmet. Myth gloves as an upgrade not too excited about that there is also always the option of the socket i'm not 100 percent sure really i guess myth instead of champion helmet can't be that bad right it just doesn't feel like a big upgrade considering it's only four item levels but i guess it's gonna go up to 489 bit of a disappointing vault i gotta admit i don't know i'm not too not too chuffed about it the gloves don't they're not even an item level upgrade right now and i would have to terrify them the helmet doesn't feel like a big upgrade until I spend some uh, aspect crests on it. And I don't also don't really want a helmet. Like I feel like there's there's better slots for me to get. I would have really hoped for a, a necklace. That would have been the best thing. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab, I guess I just grab a socket for my bracers really. Cause no, like none of this is very exciting. I don't need, don't really care about the gloves. I've got hero gloves. It's not a huge difference. It's like six item level difference at most. We've got the helmet, also not a huge item level difference. And I don't really need Need another tier piece the belt i have crafted so i can't i don't want to use that and these champion pieces are just not exciting which i will try to do a heroic raid and also somebody had mentioned that they would like to see my uh, raid clears again i will get back to that sorry i just haven't had the time to sit down and play through a raid that's a lot to record and then also a lot to edit and then it's a long video i've been trying to stay clear of those longer videos but i will try to get at least part of a raid in as a video maybe smolder on tendril sage swift and Tarak as a clear that could be pretty cool but we're gonna go with these socket that's that's what i'm gonna get i'm gonna get a socket for my bracers because none of this really does anything for me so let's grab that get that nature's cradle right away before i change my mind actually change my mind i can't change my mind it's too late now too late to apologize anyway let's go grab a socket what i should really do actually is get a main stat socket something with intellect and probably i think i should go for a crit yeah i think crit might be a good idea so which one would that be let's see gems other search inscribed a limited diamond so let's track that recipe let's grab those things have one crafted for us it's going to be something like 5k probably maybe i can get away with 3k we'll see how it goes i'll show you the gear i'm using right now but there's really no difference it's just the same stuff i showed you at the beginning of the last episode I didn't change anything because I didn't get anything. I'll take a look at how much the stamina enchant for the belt costs. Maybe I get that. It is 106 stamina. It's probably like 10,000 gold. I don't really want to spend that amount of gold for 106 stamina. But yeah, everything else is still the same stuff that I had from before. With now, I'm going to get a socket for this, which is going to be the intellect socket. So it's good to put the main stat socket onto a crafted item because then you know you won't be replacing it. But yeah, I'll get that socketed and then I'll go into what key did I get? Hold on, I didn't even... <laughs> Black Rick Hold, really? Black Rick Hold 21. See, it goes from a tyrannical where it's easy to fortified entangling bolstering. Entangling I don't care about because I can just tiger's lust myself or roll out of it. But bolstering on top of fortified is very scary. But we'll do that once I have this uh, gem 
socket it into my wrist. Alrighty, here goes the 21 Black Rick Hold. I'm going to immediately bloodlust the first pack, it looks like. That's what the group agreed to. I'm going to start GGing it up, expecting the group CC to go through. I'm going to start kicking now, get those enveloping mists out, kick to prolong them. Bolstering doing its thing. We're going to revival just to remove those blades. I should have done that sooner. This guy should be releasing. I'm not sure why he's not releasing. You are at the beginning of the dungeon. Are you going to release? Hello? All right. I'm a little flustered. Roll this. Give the demon hunter this. Expel. Okay. Now I, I just, this is not a good... What the hell is going on with the warrior? I am flustered. We're going to give the demon hunter this. I'm looking for kicks. I'm going to cleanse myself. I'm going to put focus on this so I can kick it. Glaive toss is on me. I'm just going to move away. Use a defensive. I'll have expel harm here in a second. There we go. Use expel harm. We're going to kick this. Sacrifice soul. This target should be being focused because everything else is taking less damage the warrior is still offline for some reason expel harm why is the warrior still dead i do not understand it's confusing me and i am not healing myself properly why is the warrior not releasing his spirit what am i supposed to battle resume or something i do not understand what's going on with the warrior it's very very confusing but this is already looking like a 20k i'm going to use reawaken and then if he accepts that i'm going to literally kick him a good try i guess i'm not doing this with four people i don't want to risk sitting here and waiting for well, the group wants to go 20 so i'm going to kick the warrior That's that's unfortunate. I, I assumed like it, I, I nobody would troll like that, right? <laughs> right? I don't know. And we're going to kick the warrior. We're going to find somebody else to join us. But that was really weird. That was really, really weird. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Well, now I have a 20 black rick hold. So let's go do the 20 black rick hold. That's disappointing. I feel like maybe you could have done the 21 because this group is a bunch of blasters. It looks like black rick hold 20 because the 21. <laughs> I don't know. It just felt this. The key says 19, but that's because when you start a key, it drops by one until you finish it. But yeah, you can see here it's a 20. Uh, we're gonna get started. I'm going to immediately give a life cocoon to the tank. I'm hopefully not going to hold aggro here. And to stun everything, we have the flight thing going through. Put out more hots. Try to kick some of these. Soul blades need to get dispelled immediately. Okay, this got blasted big time with the bloodlust and everything. Already going smoother. That would probably be because we have actually four people doing the thing now. So I have a kick available for the counselor. Glaive toss is on me. I'm going to use a defensive as it hits me. Somehow I dodged it so I don't have to do anything. We're going to cleanse this. Still looking for that interrupt. I'm going to do it now. We have stuns available because even though it is bolstering, at least it's not raging anymore. Sacrifice soul is going through. I'm going to have to cleanse myself or not cleanse but use the thing with the stuffy stuff tank gets a tiger's lust because i moved out of mine we're going to kick this i need to start actually healing big enveloping mist on this person and a cleanse glaive toss coming through quick oh well, no what in the heck oh i'm standing in front of it aren't i whoopsie daisy i am so stupid that's probably what I've been taking damage from the entire time. I was a little confused. Big old dum dum. That's what I am. But it happens. I'm uh, I'm a little out of shape right now. But we do have a group of blasters. It looks like we should be just fine here. There wasn't much to interrupt between all these interrupts. So I'm hoping that those remain there. Troubled soul seems to be troubling us. Somebody back bap that on the head. Probably me. I have to put out these hots. Soul echoes are going out on the hunter. Hunter can take care of that. He's ranged. It's easy. Tank is keeping the boss in the center of the room or in the side of the room instead of the center of the room which makes it easier because the boss will target the tank with that big swipe so it's quite easy for them to just avoid that tangled should have been going through right now but i guess it didn't we're going to use chi -G once the call of souls is finished i cannot uh use uh, paralysis on these but i can stun them i can also do one of these boingies here i'm going to aoe stun these i'm going to touch a death one of them and try and see if we can smack down the rest of them okay another yoink over there did the trick okay we're gonna drop chi -Gi. we're going to drop all of these kicks maybe i should have put my hots out but that's pretty much everything i needed to do to cover from this again this is fortified so the aoe from this is not a big deal right and we have the enveloping mist from the chi -G stacks that i completely neglected to use because i just didn't have enough i didn't really care about the healing that i needed to do because there's nothing else that's going to hit the group so this boss is extremely easy as long as the group doesn't ignore the ads because the more ads the boss absorbs the more damage it does when it does the damage after the souls come through so again extremely easy boss very easy to handle now here i'm going to be a little bit more scared uh i do have revival available to also cleanse the stacks off the tank i'm hoping that the tank doesn't overdo it with these guys because it is fortified now what i'm scared of is the uh damage 
amplifying effect of the uh what are they called the little spiders if that stacks too high and i can't handle it the tank's gonna have to uh -huh, figure things out for himself we're just gonna let him group those up I'm waiting for about 20 stacks uh 17 is gonna have to do revival is gonna also come out we're gonna chi g stun here keep everything stunned that's keeping the tank nice and safe only seven stacks 10 stacks I'm going to cleanse here don't want him to die okay there should be a lot fewer spiders now so the stacks shouldn't add up as quickly this is much nicer than it was in the uh, in the other run I'm going to give the tank our big shield from the trinket that'll give them more versatility to survive and give the tank this i'm going to roll out of it more hots need to go out just for the group there's not much aoe damage that can happen during the spider pull but i am glad that the tank is taking the spider pull very very seriously as it is pretty dang serious very nice I'm going to cleanse the tank at three stacks. Give the tank a big ol' one of these and one of these. And by these and these, I mean an enveloping mist. And then, okay, we had the stun come through from the tank, so it doesn't matter. Uh, an enveloping mist into a... Those need to get kicked. If those get, don't get kicked, we are well and truly screwed. Okay, we have those being grouped up. The evoker got smacked by one of those. Arcane Blitz is coming through. That needs to get interrupted. The group is interrupting it. Bone breaking coming through. Nobody got hit by it this time around. Very good much better handled than previously the frontals are the easiest to deal with you just need to walk out of the frontal just get out of it and drink some manatee to top up and interrupt it by hitting escape and now we're looking to interrupt the knife dances that's the big thing that we can interrupt here i have one that i can interrupt with my aoe stun and one that i can interrupt with my knockback like so that's all i need to do i just need to make sure those don't go through the arrow barrages need to be handled by the group by moving out of them or cc'd otherwise when i cannot i'm going to give this person life cocoon i'm going to but all of these vivifies out we're going to revival because i'm a little confused as to why we're taking so much damage group wide and there we go all of that has been handled i need to get uh back to the mindset of using my chi g more often like here i'm going to probably use chi g because this arcane blitz i can go first i'm going to give this person the trinket shield i'm going to try and kick a bunch of keels into this put those hots out and i just stood in some swirly didn't i like a moron i'm not going to i'm just gonna hope that i can release and run back quickly enough and that the group survives i stood in a swirly let me see here i didn't see the yeah phased explosion more than my max health not a, not even a defensive would have saved me there that's kind of rough that's my mistake completely i was paying attention to what i was going to do and how i was going to heal instead of just moving out of shit and now the group might pay the price for my stupidity I'm trying to make it back okay we managed to make it back very good we're going to give the tank oh my goodness we're going to immediately use gg here knife dance is coming through we're going to stun everything give the tank another shield get those gg kicks through keep extending these expel harm on my Myself, give this person an enveloping mist and now we can st drop this i am stunned because i stood in a frontal i keep standing and stuff i don't like this because i'm focused on the health bars i don't see what i need to move out of um i'm freaking out like the heals are there sure but i'm just dying because i'm standing and stuff i'm not performing very well five deaths so far but a lot of downtime from us running back and stuff and hopefully people can take care of this archer very quickly the archer needs to die the death group takes care of the arrow barrage very good the commander should be easy to take care of i think he's just one of the captains he just of the frontal so there should be no big aoe damage going out on the group hopefully the evoker can res me that'll be a lot faster than me running back I'm going to immediately accept that expel harm keep us going okay well it's definitely definitely something to get used to that i need to like keep recycling my cooldowns between groups and pulls and whatnot I'm going to give the tank movement speed there's a jump arrow barrage is coming through death grips are being used very very efficiently i'm going to paralysis that one it's also going to get yoinked back very nice very nice put out my hots i need my hots out more i'm not I'm completely there's like not, not taking care of that at all. Also, I should get behind the damn captain so I don't get bonked on the head again. And there we go. That takes care of that. Much cleaner because I'm not so flustered. But um, yeah, I think I need to cool off on the commentary. I'm trying a bit too hard to explain absolutely everything that's going on. You guys are not dum-dums. You know what's going on. You can see. The boss, I'm not worried about at all we're going to give this person a shield and a hot and the heal that should keep them full the shield should also give them versatility that's not bad i do not have the charge on me the charge is going to get spread around a room like that i'm going to move brutal glaive over here i'm going to use a defensive because it's going to hit me put out my hots again the guards are coming in easy mode i'm going to drop this over here i beam is being put on brokta brokta is going to get a nice big life cocoon just so i don't have to worry about them arcane blitz we're going to interrupt some other people also tried to interrupt it at the same time it looks like the dk did to paralysis this there's a stun coming through very good now the uh, i beam is going on somebody else at least it's not me that's always nice now i have hots to put out i'll put it on myself because i have the lowest amount of time remaining on my hots while she's up there i kind of have to get very very close and keep jumping to keep smacking her i think 
Or can I just do it? Okay, if I stand right here, I don't have to do it. And there she comes. There's going to be a glaive thing. I'm going to give this to the DK, so it doesn't, or DK, the demon hunter, so he doesn't have to do anything about her. Brutal glaive is going on Broca. Okay, I think they somehow dodged it or parried it or something. That's interesting. Uh, I'm not being marked, so I don't have to move. I can keep smacking her. There we go. Minimize the amount of crap on the ground. We're just going to give a nice uh, essence font here so that when we do this, we get a lot of extra healing. I'm going to give Broca another one of these. Okay. And by these, I mean the trinket shield, so they get versatility. I don't know if versatility is all that amazing for what seems to be, yeah, Beast Mastering Hunter, but it can't hurt. It's not just an offensive, it's also a def de defensive, I guess, because versatility gives you a bit of both. And in general, most classes, unless they're stacking versatility, can benefit from versatility because it's a flat damage buff. Okay, we're going to give the tank a nice big uh, life cocoon right off the bat. We need to keep those hots going. Now, this is going to be very, very scary. We're going to need to make sure that we cycle our CC here. There's the stun from the Evoker. I'm going to wait for a bunch of cast bars to go through and then i'm going to use my stun now we're going to use chi we're going to use uh, what am i going to use i'm going to use enveloping mist on the tank and one of these on the tank and try to top off the tank as best i can tank just needs a lot of love in here almost have the shield ready okay tank managed to survive because i was just tunneling heals into them it worked out we're grabbing this little trickster here that's good i guess <laughs> uh, it's just one of them I don't know if he was in combat with us or something, but yeah, we can murder him too. No problem. We can give everyone a, stat, a set of bolstering right off the bat. I don't have life cocoon this time, but I have the shield for the tank. There we go. Tank has the shield. He has extra versatility. He's a little bit more tanky. He does have metamorphosis available, so I shouldn't worry too much. We're going to give him a life. Oh. I'm going to knock these back because people need to move anyway. Uh, I've given him an enveloping mist. I've given him a zen pulse. These big guys are very scary. Life Cocoon is not available. I'm going to give an Enveloping Mist again. We're going to use one of our Brutal Assaults coming through. So we use GG to give an extra shield. I'm just trying to make sure that the tank survives. Because these guys will ruin the tank with those many that many stacks of uh, bolstering on them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm just going to... Hold on, hold on. Okay, now I'm good. I had to take a second there to find an opportunity to get in there. And I use my Tiger's Lust to make sure that I can navigate through them a little bit more quickly. It looks like they're stopping now. That's good. Nobody died. That's also good. Give the tank one of these these bad boys give the dk one of these and let's get into this now i'm a little bit worried about the pharaoh uh fell bat pups causing some issues here but maybe it won't be so bad we're looking for an interrupt after the sick baths i'm going to get that the hunter was also looking for it there's one here now hopefully that gets interrupted it doesn't seem to be fell bats don't seem to uh give the um whatchamacallit bolster buff so it's not an issue i have my kick coming up here in a second i can kick that hopefully i didn't overlap with anyone else it doesn't look like i did it's very good this first one's coming in here in a second i'm going to touch it at them that'll bolster the other guy but i don't mind the bolstering i just need the fell frenzy interrupted and the group is being very good about that so this is actually pretty manageable the sick bats thing i just have one of my two shields for whoever it goes on seems to be going on the hunter we're going to give them the trinket shield go through here big heals on the hunter make sure that they're topped off we're going to chi burst through the middle of this so we have a reset on our feline stomp keep spinning the spin will do a lot with this many targets as you can see very good and i'm looking for kicks here in a second there we go Oh, nice. We're managing this. I honestly thought this would be a lot worse, but taking it bit by bit doesn't seem to really cause many issues. I'm going to give the tank... Okay, I wanted to give the tank um, what Chimo calls its a life cocoon, but I didn't have it. Because I saw his health go down very quickly, but maybe I shouldn't be that nervous about the tank's health, huh? Okay, we managed to get through this. I'm just going to roll this way. Drink some manatee and get ready for the boss fight. Boss fight's going to be easy mode. Uh, not if the tank does that, it isn't. <laughs> Jumps in, loses 70% of his health. Gosh darn. Tank is going to tank that, it looks like, or he's going to let the hunter take it. That's okay. We're going to immediately heal the hunter. Should use my renewing mist first so my vivify does more with the use of my chi harmony thing but that's something i still haven't really gotten fully used to again i'm not too worried about the uh, the damage coming through from bosses right now on fortified and bosses aren't that scary at least not for me maybe i should respect them a bit more it's broca but the evoker seems to be handling it so we're going to give the evoker a renewing mist to give chief harmony and then just drop one of these uh, big vivifies that i can instantly cast drink some manatee start a essence font and then do some kicks that should top everyone off with the gusts of mist uh, this is on me i should hug the wall over here so that when it starts coming in it just goes along the wall it is now on dark Noor. it seems that the dk is going to tank that that's very good dk didn't even use a defensive to tank it that's perfectly fine essence font is going to go out and we're going to use a shaylin's gift for the first time i've been neglecting shaylin's gift like a dum-dum that's really not something i should be doing and we're looking for the next charge here in a little bit it's on broca i can stand in front of broca i'm going to try and put it over here 
use a defensive expel harm should be able to handle that immediately i kind of dropped this in the middle of the room because i wanted to also tank for broca we have essence font on everyone so we're going to drop one of these juicy shailene's gifts because that'll uh, rock gusts of mist gusts of mist proc twice on people with essence font so that's going to be a lot of aoe healing regardless of the number of stacks of shailun's gift but i do believe i had quite a few i didn't have time to check i just knew that i could use shailun's gift there for a bunch of healing because of the essence fonts i'm going to give a nice big shield to our tank coup de gras coming in Surpri a little surprised the tank's not using a shield here or um a cooldown here but that's okay i'm going to stun again okay they're immune to stuns because they've been stunned one too many times that's okay i'm still handling everything fine with chiji this is what i was saving my envelope miss stacks for so i have one immediately when a person goes down low like that and that is perfect for the next group i do have shaylin's gift if anybody gets very low i'm gonna start putting out my hots again one is going to go onto the tank just so we can always take care of the tank i was hoping we wouldn't immediately bolster these next guys chaining pulls like this during bolstering is not exactly the best idea uh we have uh the tank popping metamorphosis so i feel like that's going to be safe everything's being knocked up so that's also good i'm going to drop a stun in the middle of this group no i'm not because it's on cooldown okay i'm going to put out some more hot Hots. I'm going to essence font immediately like so and then if anybody gets low I can immediately react to it I can also just spin to try and do some actual damage yeah everyone seems to be avoiding it quite handily so it wasn't an issue that we chained it all worked out now the last boss should be actually a cakewalk so let's get to it I really wish I had this group in the 21. That would have been a 21 timed, I'm pretty sure. Let's spit out our hot a little bit more. That is not the right keybind for the hot, I don't think. Okay, Whirling Blade coming through this way. I'm going to just avoid it like so. Ideally, the tank would move us a little bit just so the DK isn't standing in the Whirling Blade. Top off the DK. Shadow Bolts basically tickle at this. Oh, never mind. I take it back. They do not tickle. They hurt. And to use Expel Harm move this direction with the tank okay my guy here is going down that means i need to get ready to use gg for the first shadow bolts the first shadow bolts hurt because hurt extra hard because the first shadow bolts assume well you don't have the buff from raven crest yet so they hit extra extra hard we're going to stack up four stacks of chi we're going to use essence font on everyone and then we're going to not stacks of chi stacks of blackout kick and then we're going to just use those stacks of blackout kick after using chi we're going to top everyone off and this person is going to need some extra help because we need to punch them out of this okay 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 we good i have three stacks i'm just going to give it to the evoker keep the evoker nice and healthy hunter also might need some more love in here okay like this see which way it's going it seems to be going okay okay i'm going to give myself movement speed just so i can cast for a little bit here yeah i wanted to use shaylin's gift because it always feels nice to use shaylin's gift oh boy that is scary because there was the zone right on the ground man that was super super scary did you see that that's so crazy what the hell shadow bolts coming out we're going to use uh, essence font and then a shaylin's gift with just a few stacks still gives ridiculous heals like i had mentioned previously drink some manatee shadow bolts coming through again we're going to revival just to use that at least one properly in this run and then for the next one i do have chi up again i think i had it anyway i'm gonna use chi and then four kicks right after the shadow bolt <laughs> the shadow bolts didn't even break the chi shield that is ridiculous we are blasting keystone hero black rug hold there we go that was a stomp that was an absolute stomp i didn't do great i died a few too many times i think if i hadn't died this would have been a plus three but what can you do? What do we get? We got a Waste Crest Manor 22. I'm gonna ask this group if they want to go do it. The Evoker pieced out. Yeah, looks like we're staying together. They have a friend. We're gonna invite them. Does this count as a pre-made? I'm a little nervous now. I mean, I don't know them. We're not on voice. I don't know. I'm gonna do this. Screw it. But you guys let me know if you feel like this is a rule break. And I'm getting summoned. Okay. <laughs> I guess I guess we're doing this. And we are getting ready to blast. You got two big old demons in the group. Okay. I expect a big, big, big chunk of damage to come out of out of peeps here we're doing a big pull with bloodlust here i'm looking to do my interrupts as best i can here i'm going to stun everything right away i'm going to give this person versatility if they take damage still looking if any casts go through i'm going to start trying kicking start to try and kick these okay everything worked out we managed to kill them quick enough. That wasn't a bloodlust pull, but I'm okay with that. Our group seems to know what the heck is going on. I'm going to just trust people. I need to move out of that. I'm going to immediately Shailen's Gift because we got nine stacks. Uh, people use their defensives and stuff. That's good. We're not doing big pulls. I need that kick. That would be nice. Broke that. Took care of that. Need to get out of that. I got smacked by it. Didn't one shot me. I'm thankful for that. Broke that getting a big punch in the face from the Shadow Bolt. I didn't have a kick for it, I don't think. I'm going to kick this one. There we go. Keep the group moving. Nice and quick. I'm going to stun. Never mind. I'm not going to stun shit, but I'm going to react to this being. Uh, please kick that essence font into a big old Shailene's gift on this person. Okay. Just need those volleys kicked. I'm going to save. Like, I can react to this, but the volley's a bit much. 
Okay, and I jumped into that. Of course I did. <laughs> I was trying to get out of the damn entangling. I need to just start using, uh, okay, instant, uh, <laughs> didn't like that. And we're going to try and instantly react to this. Okay, okay, okay. A little bit, uh, a little bit scuffed here, but I think it was because people were trying to get through the door. I don't have a kick for that, so we're going to cleanse it off of the demon hunter here. This might be a little bit scuffed in general because, you know, fortified on this dungeon just feels like a nightmare. I haven't done it yet properly, but we'll see. I did it on, like, low B keys, so I'm not too worried about that. And to kick that rather than cleanse it, no global necessary. Paralysis on this, but it still went through. I didn't do it quack and quick enough because it was a global. And I'm gonna get disoriented. That's unfortunate. DK also got disoriented, so I don't feel alone in my disorientation. I feel pretty safe to move out of it here rather than use a global on the um, thingy thing with the stuffy stuff. What's this thing called? Tiger's Lust. And now we're getting ready for Heart's Bantry. A uh, triad. I'm probably gonna still bloodlust that because people don't seem to like them very much. I don't think they're that bad of a boss. I just wasted my kick soul bolts still coming through soul manipulation is going to go out uh the person seems to have been just smacked very very quickly need to switch target here we should also be healing a whole bunch on this person and start jumping i need to use essence font into a chi g into one of these shaylin's gift just for the aoe damage that's coming through and now i can go back to just enveloping mist spamming uh this person is now holding the iris i still have an enveloping mist to use i'm going to hold on to that one until the jagged nettles comes through there it is jagged nettles on this person we're going to use a kick to keep them alive nice and healthy vivify very good we kept them alive through... Mmm, Jagged Nettles doesn't go away. I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. Jagged Nettles doesn't go away unless you uh, full heal someone. That is completely my fault. I should have given them a shield. I'm going to Shailun's Gift here into... That's, I'm so stupid. I let that poor hunter die because I'm stupid. Okay, one of them is dead. That's good. I need to put these dang hots out. I'm completely neglecting that. This person is claiming the, claiming the iris. We need to heal up the hunter to full. And then we're ready for the AoEs to start. I'm going to have Shailun's Gift for that. So I'm going to move just away. Shailun's Gift and Chi G for the shield. There's the damage coming through. Once it claims the Iris, we're going to start kicking this one. I completely messed up this boss. Like, I completely disrespected it because it's fortified. I should have just healed the... I should have just given Life Cocoon to the Hunter. I'm going to give Life Cocoon... I'm not going to make the same mistake twice. I'm going to live, give Life Cocoon to the D DK. They died because I was stupid. I'm going to drink some manatee so the group doesn't have to wait for me. I'm going to give the tank a shield from my trinket. Hard cast onto the DK and give them a Zen Pulse. That'll heal them up the full and also do a bunch of damage to the enemies as well. We're going to put a focus on this uh, mob. I'm going to again look for that sweet, sweet, juicy vo volley kick rather than kicking the single bolts. I'm hoping that the single bolts get kicked by my party. That got kicked by one of the DKs or demon hunters and the volley. Okay, the hunter's taking care of the volley. That's good. They're standing in the candles, it looks like. Tank should be healed. I'm going to just tunnel heals on the tank. No reason to risk anything. You got an extra guard, it looks like. All right, we got a guard and a captain. We're going to kick the captain because there's not much else for me to kick here. DK, death striked. <laughs> it's so nice to have people take care of their own health bars. We're going to hard cast. No, we're going to life cocoon. Tank, he procced his uh, trinket from uh, what's that place called? Galakron's Fall, I guess. Put out more hots. I'm neglecting the hot spreading. That's my bad. I think I can spin to win here, actually. We're going to kick that Runic Bolt. I don't have much else to kick right now. Just maintenance healing through this. Not much else I need to really do. Spellbind. That's on me. I'm going to get Silence. No, it got Death Gripped, it looks like. Very good. Thank you. Because the mob moved and it didn't get cast. So I'm assuming it got Death Gripped by the, the DK, which is beautiful. Thank you, friend. <laughs> me getting silenced, not the best uh, feeling in the world. I'm going to drink up. This is going to be a big pull. So I'm going to roll forward here twice. and <laughs> Start drinking. Maybe regain some more mana and then try to move forward to help the tank out. We're going to give the tank a big shield from the trinket, give him an essence or enveloping mist into his end pulse for this big pull and start spinning. There's a binding thing. We're going to move them all around to trigger the binding binding shot. We're still spinning. Uh, we need a cleanse. We need a Shailun's gift because there's a lot of low health bars. Those infected things need to get cleared. I don't have essence font for a tank, but I do have big heals to send them directly. Tank is now dead. That is not great. Tank has released. Uh, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to line of sight that and try to reset it. Fortified with bolstering is brutal. We had a bunch of bolstering go through there onto these really, really dangerous mobs to begin with. So it, it just happens. I'm going to try and kick these as much as I can. I don't think the thorn shapers can be CC'd. Oh, they can be. Never mind. I lied. I'm going to give a. Oh, okay. I can cleanse one. I can CC the next. They got to CC'd like this. Uh, Shailen's gift needs to go out here because there's a bunch of health bars that I don't know what to do with. Essence font into another. 
like, oh, Shailun's gift to get the double uh, gust of mist proc. I can't survive that. <laughs> like, we need more CC for that. We're kind of overdoing it. Uh, hopefully the group can survive. I can maybe get res. There's nobody who can res me. Uh, so that's 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 a thing that needs to be handled. I could have participated in the CC there. That's my bad. I needed to put down some more CC than I did. Maybe I could have knocked them all around. The poor hunter needs help. I'm coming, buddy. I'm coming. There we go. He has another bleed on him, but he also has a shield. I'm going to try and get some healing through like so. I'm going to touch it at this just to get a move on from it. Okay, that was, I feel like that was just me under healing. I needed a Chi G there or something. So that's, that's my bad. These spits are really bothersome. They, they're really troubling. Now this big lady is here. I'm very scared of the big lady. I'm going to Chi G here and really make use of it. Try and get those enveloping mists out. Try and kick this so I don't have to dispel it. Okay, the sleet coming through. Big sleet. I'm going to hard cast this into this. Cleanse myself. Yulon, or not Yulon, but the revival, because there, there was another person after I had just used my cleanse. Put the hots back out. I don't have time to spend globals on hots. Okay, now I'm overdoing it. I don't need to. Anything with the stuffy stuff. I don't need to use. Okay, I used this on the wrong person. I'm trying to do big heals on the demon hunter. Okay, we handled it. Whew, I think the demon hunter stood in the fire for a little bit. I accidentally used a life cocoon on myself. That is no bueno. I don't want to do that. We have another big group coming in, but I have Chi Ji almost back up. We're going to use some of that manatee. We need to really help the de uh, demon hunter out here. Really big heals here. We're going to give them the shield from this thing. I'm going to stun everything. Binding shot is down. We're going to bounce them to trigger the binding shot. They're immune to it because they've been stunned too many times. We have two demon hunters and uh, me stunning things. So the binding shot just got DR'd fully. But we seem to be handling this okay without Chi Ji. So I'm glad I didn't use it at the start. So we have it for the boss right now. I'm going to drink some manatee to get immediately ready for this boss fight. I'm going to save some in case I want to use something else. We have uh, our trinket. We don't actually have anything. So we're going to have to do big old heals. Big time, big heals here. Uh, Soul Thorns is going out. It got immediately removed by the DK's uh, thingy thing with the stuffy stuff, I guess. If it removes a stun, maybe it's a lower cooldown. I don't know. I summoned, Somehow they just instantly got out of it, which I really like. Maybe they're using a PvP trinket. Some people seem to run that on this boss. You're still stacking up um, the boss buff, which hopefully the DK, the, the Demon Hunter does clear at some point. It is on Safak. Then we're going to give them a juicy live cocoon. Make sure they're nice and safe. No reason to risk it. Okay, we're going to Essence Font immediately because people are going to start taking a shit ton of damage into a Vivify, or sorry, not a Vivify, but a Shailun's Gift. Uh, I'm trying to stay away from thingy thing with the stuffy stuff. This person needs big heals. Trying to keep them up and nice and healthy. They really need some help with those Soul Thorns, but we managed to keep them through up through that. I don't think I had a shield up. I think I had the Trinket one. I know I used the Keybind, but whether or not I actually had it is another question. Okay, as long as we don't have the overlap, everything should be fine. Okay, we're gonna try and keep this person alive just long enough. Instant cast that thing on them. Okay. Thing being enveloping mist. Sorry, sometimes when I'm just trying to execute, it's hard to say what exactly I want to execute. We're going to essence font here so everyone gets a nice stack of essence font, put out these hots, and then try to vivify. Expel harm on myself. That should keep the group alive. Uh, I could not. I'm sorry, my friend. Uh, these souls are coming out. They're actually t uh, going after the tank. I'm trying to grab heal aggro off them so they go after me. The souls are all gone, it looks like, so I can go back to this. We do have a battle res available, it looks like. We can use it on this person, but I think we're saving it because the boss is almost dead. Uh, this person needs big heals, so we're going to try and give them big heals. I don't want to use life cocoon because the boss is almost dead. I want to have it for the next pull. There we go. And we're going to res. Just let me drink. Okay. Okay, the tank is going to bring them here. Hopefully they keep themselves alive while I'm not there. Okay. <laughs> no, dude, I was about to rest. My guy got bonked. <laughs> All right, let's give them this. Let's hope for the best. Um, okay. They're just uh, grabbing a few. That works. I'm going to put this down. We're going to give them one of these. Dinner bell coming through. We need them to move. I can give them Zen Pulse. Maybe I should have saved it for the heal. If a binding arrow goes down, I'll use my Bouncy Bounce to keep them moving. I'm going to give myself one of these because I don't need heal just a second. Okay, now I do need the heal. We're going to Essence Font. Okay, I don't need to heal anymore because people use their own heals or life lifestyle or whatever the heck they did. But everyone got it real healthy, real quick, <laughs> which I can appreciate. Save me some mana. I did drink some. Uh, what is this? 
Delicious dragon spittle. I don't know about that. Move out of that. When I see a health bar that low, I'm like, oh, I can touch a death soon. Nah, dude, it's fortified. That's still that's still a lot of health <laughs> that you need to work through and burn through. Okay, we're going to give them a shield as they gather. Give them one of these. We're casting an essence enveloping mist on this. Okay, they did manage to regain aggro. I have a bleed on me. I'm just going to use a defensive. I'm going to try and spin here. Uh, the gorgers. There's no gorgers here. Into essence font. Into an envelope or into a shaman's gift. Keep everyone alive. I'm going to use one of these. Just trying to keep myself alive here. I need to move out of this. She burst through everyone. I wasn't even standing in the thing. I'm going to ah, I die because I didn't use things on time. I'm panicking here because it's a big nasty pull. I think I stepped into a gorger wretch or something. No, I just died to the bleed. Bleed's too brutal. I think, well, nobody can res me, so there's no reason for me to sit there and wait. But those bleeds are brutal. I needed to use more cooldowns there. Chi G needs to be used on trash pulls. I cannot keep saving Chi G for shit. There is nothing to save Chi G for on trash. You're using it on cooldown, basically. I need to wrap my head around that. This is going a lot worse than the Black Rook hold. But then again, the Black Rook hold did have a rough start as well. So maybe we're still fine. We have killed two bosses and we're at almost 70%. So I feel like we should be okay. I hope somebody has a repair hammer. I should buy a few myself. I'm going to give this person a nice big shield. Okay, now let's focus up on actually healing the group properly. We're going to kick this wretch that cannot go through. I can't let that happen. Do we need a GG here? I don't see any bleeds so it doesn't feel like i need to use chi here roll out okay i use a shaylun's gift first there before the essence font not ideal but i felt like i needed to just to make sure nothing goes awry we're gonna try and touch a deathless mob i haven't used um enough of these there's a dinner ball we're gonna roll out we're gonna roll back forward and we're gonna touch a deathless guy i want him out of here i want to move on from this never mind the group killed him so fast that i didn't get to do that okay it looks like we're going for the boss yes no maybe so he wants to pull the maggots okay we do have bloodlust available okay so it's the patrol one that makes sense uh we're going to reflex no i can't reflex chi cocoon them oh i need to roll out i wanted to life cocoon them but i couldn't because it's not uh <laughs> it's uh, it's on cooldown i use it very 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 much here like very very often i should say not very much i'm just gonna move out of the entangling and this guy should be dead before that dirt ball goes off and we're good to go for the boss the patrol has been taken care of we're gonna bloodlust this guy just to make uh, make use of a bloodlust for 30 seconds because we're gonna fight him for 30 seconds or longer or 40 seconds or whatever the heck it is but we get full value out of the bloodlust is what i'm trying to say now this should be easy but every time i say that it never is so we're gonna try and be careful here not underestimate the boss we're gonna drop a transcendence here so i can port over once he moves over to this side to puke at us like so we're just gonna zap over that looks cool as hell i love doing that and we have an, uh, more than enough time to move over again we're calling servants i'm going to go and paralysis this guy we need to start healing i'm going to drop a bouncy back on that guy just gonna vivify this person i don't want to use anything else really because i couldn't my brain just didn't process that i'm going to stun this servant okay i already got stunned with the thing so i'm going to try and use some damage to take care of it i'm going to enveloping mist onto this person that should keep them nice and healthy i'm going to move over to this side i'm going to move over to this side i'm glad i didn't stand in that do i have another bounce back i don't okay i managed to get hit by that because i was trying to take care of the servant a paralysis is coming out i'm gonna hold my uh bounce back okay this person needs immediate healing so we're gonna use a shaylun's gift just to do it really really quickly tank needs to take aggro off of these okay they all exploded around the same time we're going to do one of these that'll bounce everyone back okay everyone's being still bounced back I want to hit this guy and touch a death them like so. I'm glad I <laughs> tactically saved that for sure. I'm going to AoE stun. Never mind, the boss is dead. I didn't even realize that. Okay. Uh, is that the tank? That is indeed the tank. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> okay, the tank just got turned around and he went the wrong way. <laughs> I think. I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. Now that needs to get kicked every single time that infected thing i mean it, it's not a big deal i can cleanse it i am uh, able to cleanse diseases some uh, like druids would really struggle with that because they can't cleanse diseases they have to heal through that that would be like super super bad to let go uh let go let it go through we have alma runus volley i think everyone and their mom wants to kick that that's good i don't have to worry about that going through the tank does have the thing that's able to heal it i'm gonna put some hots out this person definitely needs a lot of love, and we're going to drop a life cocoon on them. You can cleanse this. It's just a dot, I believe, so it's not a huge deal, but I'll still cleanse it just to make use of it. I can cleanse this again in just a second. I'm going to give myself this, so I make use of it. I'm going to kick it this time. Big thing is on me. I need to step over here, use that life cocoon, or not life cocoon, but expel harm. Cleanse the tank from that dot. Okay, keeping everyone nice and healthy. Alma went down pretty quickly, which is very good. 
She's not that scary, it looks like. She's gonna do the dread mark again. I do have the trinket shield to use on the hunter. Give them a nice heal like this. Keep them going. Big ol' heals like that. There we go. What does this do now? Inflicting blah damage every blah. Okay, whatever. Okay, we managed to get through without pulling these rune weavers. Now, this next group is kind of scary. I am gonna use GG on this group. Again, I do not use GG enough. Uh, my apologies. I'm just getting used to, like, high fortified keys. I've only done shitty little tiny baby fortified keys so far. Tank is splitting this up into smaller pulls. I can appreciate that. I'll appreciate that quite a bit. I'm going to cleanse the tank. Soul Wally needs to get interrupted. And we're going to Essence Font. Just a short one to put Essence Font hots on everyone. I'm going to bounce these guys around. Uh, we're going to give that person life cocoon. The volley's coming through again. Those volleys need to be interrupted, my friends. Otherwise, we're all dead. Okay, tank and mirror dead. We have a warding candle going through. I I think that the demon hunter accidentally pulled uh, another group and that's what what caused more issues but the volleys need to be interrupted i mean everything needs to be interrupted but the volleys really need to be interrupted otherwise we're gonna have a very hard time <laughs> As you can see, I like I can handle them. Again, I didn't use GG like an idiot. Maybe we could have survived that with a GG. I feel like I'm kind of not contributing enough to this group. Tank is still struggling to stay alive down there. That's impressive. I'm going to try and get to him. Maybe he's taking care of one or two of those ads down there. I'm getting stuck on stuff. We again have to make sure we don't pull that rune weaver. Hugging to the right like this. Tank is still taking good care of themselves down there. We're going to come in like a hero right as they're about to run out of things to use on themselves. Okay, I don't have to actually use anything on them just yet i'm looking for the things please just kick the soul bolt touch of death that i need to i need to just make that thing go away <laughs> it's just it hurts so bad okay warding candle is being put down we're gonna kick whatever it casts next to keep it moving we're gonna kick that hopefully somebody else kicks something else we have the dk available to kick the soul soul bolt molly that worked out yeah it's not so scary when it's just a uh, one thing to really kick because people can always take care of it when it's just one kick okay this is looking like a time okay it's looking like a very comfortable time actually we'll see how the group in the hallway goes but uh, the DPS is blasting, so doesn't look too too hard to me. Renal and Plague is getting put on the DK. DK used uh, anti-magic shell to not even be afflicted by it. I got hit by a swirly, that's my bad. But I expel harmed right afterwards, so it wasn't an issue. The strikes are coming through. Tank's taking care of that like a champ. My guy needs to move away. We're going to cleanse them, give them a nice hot, give them a vivify. It's going to be a big heal. Let's start to actually kick some people in the teeth. Okay, we're going to use GG here. I need to roll, put on some of these virulent pathogens on me i'm gonna cleanse it kick again we can put another one of these enveloping mists out for free we got two of them out not bad not not like i'm not under a lot of pressure right now the healing here is more than manageable and give the uh hunter my trinket shield we're gonna let this tick just so that the trinket shield procs then we're gonna cleanse them now i can put focus on lady vaquest and i can kick her whenever she's casting racking pain there's no reason to ever let her uh, cast that like so we keep kicking it i don't have my hot sound because again it's not all that scary people are moving away from me i can drop this over here very good oh that looked like somebody was going to dash into my thingy thing uh the zone that i left that maybe would have hurt i think it was a tank so it doesn't matter we're gonna give the tank a life cocoon here just to make sure they're nice and happy and safe of course if focus interrupt that racking pain cast and that should be donezo with lady waycrest other people can keep kicking i don't really need to do much here just need to wait for her to kind of keel over and there's the last one i didn't get the the last kick that's unfortunate but holy crap look at this holy crap dk blast and we're gonna give them a shield give this person big heals i don't have the other shield to give i'm gonna chi -gi kick i was looking at the interrupts i was so impressed by the interrupts that i couldn't pay attention to what was happening around me that's not the best look okay enveloping mist very nice okay now i can just spin i think put out these actual hots and keep spinning that should keep everyone alive here i just wanted to use chi -gi. Like, I just wanted to use GG properly once. We're gonna Essence Font while everyone is kind of low. And we're gonna do one of these Shailun's Gift that are juicy. We're gonna touch a death here. Yeah, those stomps are really hurting right now. Please don't release, don't release. I mean, they spawn right here, but I'm going to still reawaken them. They might think they they spawn elsewhere. Bad doggo. <laughs> okay, we're gonna give them these. I'm gonna do a quick drink. Enveloping Mist and Enveloping Mist. And uh, we go. We zoog zoog. It's looking like a plus one, unfortunately, but I screwed up too many times to have it be anything other than a, a plus one i think i could have healed a lot better i'm looking for this thing and i'm looking where this is going to die i'm going to drop it right on top of it there's another one being summoned I probably i think we can like kick um i think we can uh whatchamacallit kill two and then use it we're going to paralysis this so that it doesn't go through with the cast and i'm going to use it like here put out these hots and then on the next dread essence thing 
a death lens. I don't, I don't have anything. I'm just going to launch it back. But I'm going to use GG here to give everyone a shield. Demon Hunter, was, or not the Demon Hunter, but the, just the regular Hunter. Not the Demon Hunter. He just hunts normal things, not demons. <laughs> okay. We're getting stuns go through. It's good. We're going to kill both of these. I'm going to roll out. Once the second one is dead, that is when I'm going to try and burn both of them. I think there's two of them. I can't see the other one. I'm going to just drop it down here. Hope that covered both of them. I don't even know at this point. Essence font into a GG or not a GG, sorry, Shailene's gift. I'm losing it, friends. This has been intense. <laughs> like this group has been so, so good. I'm glad that they were here for me warming up the fortified dungeons for this week because uh, I don't think every group is going to be this dang good. Okay, there we go. And we're missing percent. We're missing like one mob. So we're going to go to the start of the dungeon really, really quick. There's Lucille. Talk to her again. Lead the way. We're going to go to the right. Just one mob. Just one mob is all we need. We're going to give movement speed to the tank. So we can pull that one mob. Okay, we're pulling this group to the left. The organ is going crazy. Make sure group that if group survives here. Use everything, lad. Pop everything. Every single cooldown. Everything. Revival at full health. <laughs> there we go. And we good. <laughs> Okay, that was fun. That was that was a fun run. I really enjoyed that. I guess we can go the, that way because everyone's kind of done. I don't need to go this way. I can just go down the down the stairs. Because when you finish a dungeon, these guys just kind of start ignoring you, which is always good. Just apologizing to the group, saying I was saving cooldowns for next season like a moron. Uh, I should have used my cooldowns more. I just I could have just used my cooldowns a whole bunch more. Would have made the run a lot easier. Uh, I think I need to use C GG pretty much every pull that's up for unless it's a teeny tiny little baby pull where there's no damage really happening but gg needs to get used i just need to use it more it'll make everything better it makes the maintenance healing portion better it gives me chances to use enveloping mist instantly which will do big heals on people i just need to use gg more so that's that's a takeaway from this dungeon but other than that i feel like it was okay there were only we're not gonna look at that <laughs> again there were only like a few deaths but there's 20 of them so the group was blasting if with 20 deaths we managed to still still time this well we have a 23 dark earth thicket but i do not have more time to record tonight unfortunately so we're gonna have to leave it at that that was a hell of a run a hell of a like two really really good runs after one disastrous run yeah we let the group know that they can see themselves carry me <laughs> <laughs> on my youtube channel and we're peacing out that was that was a hell of a run it was so good you're gonna peace out it was a hell of a group oh did i just, did I just disconnect <laughs> game's like no you don't get to play you gotta play just with them <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna have to do a reload right away because my bags are over here instead of over here. So that's always fun. That tends to happen when I uh, disconnect, but it's not a huge issue because a quick reload fixes it right away. I wish I had the time to run this dark art thicket, but I guess I'll have to run it with another group. I can't get carried through too many. Oh no, never mind. Actually, the rules state that I can only stay for one run with the same group. So I'm glad I didn't run the dark art thicket, even if I did have the time to do so. But anyway, I think that was pretty much it for this episode. Let me just see what I can do. Maybe I got some currency I can use. Okay, we got Aspect Streaming Crusts. We're going to go spend a few of those, I guess. Well, 15 of those to be specific. We're going to see if we can do an upgrade here. Item upgrades. What can we upgrade? We can upgrade our rings or the trinket. We're going to go for the trinket, right? No, actually, the trinket just gives mastery. How much does the shield increase? 9,016 more versatility, 8 more mastery for me. I think we're going to go with the rings. I think the rings are definitely the call. I don't have worm crests. I'm going to have to go do a farming session for those. I'll let you guys know on Discord when I do that farming session. You guys can maybe join if you have the time or want to, uh, you know, or want to. Uh, <laughs> after seeing today's video, maybe you don't even want to join the worm crest farming session. I let the poor hunter die <laughs> on the first boss because I forgot how jagged nettles work. Oh, <laughs> well. But yeah, we're going to use our... No, this needs worm crests too. Dude, I need to spend some worm crests. I guess we're going to upgrade. This needs worm crests too? Oh my god. I can't even use my... <laughs> This is so stupid. I can't even use my aspect streaming crest. So, well, I think this is a good time to call it an episode. I know I can see the durability. You're probably freaking out like you need a repair before you go into another dungeon. But that is pretty much it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, drop a like. Let me know what you liked about it in a comment. If you had fun, make sure you subscribe because more videos are coming. And if you're feeling particularly generous, you can become a channel member. Channel members get guaranteed replies to their comments and nice little shout outs at the beginning of the video. But as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next episode. So does that actually count as me breaking the rules for pre-made groups because they invited their friend after the Black Rick Hold? Hmm, I don't think I'll do that again.